everybody, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. In a previous video, you saw me make an amazing brown sugar and chipotle marinade or barbecue sauce or whatever you want to call it. Today we're going to show you how we used it. And, and uh, if you stay tuned, this is what we're going to do. I have a beautiful London broil. Um, London broils were on sale this week at my local Harris Teeter, which is my better grocery store in my area. Um, they have a meat counter there and Rick wanted me to mention to you um, when they put meat on sale at Harris Teeter, they often have it, you know, pre-wrapped in the meat case so you can just pick it up and put it in your cart. But there is a little bit of a hint. If you go to the butcher counter, those pieces of that same cut of meat that's on sale in the pre-wrapped section is also on sale at the butcher counter. And you can pick which one you want and they'll wrap it for you in plastic bag and also in this butcher paper. And I find that this quality of meat is a little bit better. I don't know why. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's mental. I don't know. Chicken too. But um, the chicken that they have there is incredible, and it's beautiful. It's all trimmed. And um, we are also going to cook some of that on the grill today because if I've got a hot grill, then I'm going to have Rick throw some chicken on there so that we have it for salads and sandwiches and other leftover meals later in the week. So this is... Uh, about a two and a half pound London broil that's beautifully trimmed. I don't have to trim anything off of here. There's like no fat on this puppy. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it inside of a gallon Ziploc bag. Just like that. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brown sugar and chipotle marinade that I made. Excuse me. Oops, and I'm gonna get a rubber spatula. Hmm? Do you want me to save some? No. I mean, I can make some more. Yeah. Get it all in that bag. See, and there's a little piece of brown sugar that's stuck to the bottom. It's all good. It's gonna, it's gonna dissolve in there as it sits. Okay, so. I'm just going to close up my bag. I'm going to get as much air out of it as I can. And get that meat coated in that marinade, just like this. Just like that. Squeeze all that marinade down into the bottom of the bag. Okay. And now I'm just going to let this sit in the fridge for about an hour and a half. And then once Rick gets the grill all nice and hot and ready to receive this, we will be back and I'll show you how he does that. All right. Ooh, ooh, that looks so good already. Mm -hmm. Once I get it seared, I'll move it off to the side and do the indirect. So you've got it on a classic direct heat right now, and then mm -hmm. after you get it seared on both sides, you'll move it over and do um, classic indirect heat. Just like who taught you? Stephen Raikland. Stephen Raikland. Barbecue University. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. When this is ready to come off the grill, we'll bring you back and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. Our London broil has rested for 10 minutes after being taken off the grill. I made some garlic mashed potatoes and I oven roasted some tomatoes and eggplant along with some sliced red onion that I had in the fridge that needed to get used up. On the vegetables, all I did was I put some olive oil on them and I sprinkled them with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, a little oregano and um, basil, and they're good to go. I roasted them at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes until they were soft, and we are ready to eat. The other thing that you can do is, um, which I'm going to do for you, is I'm going to grab a spoon, first of all. And I'm just going to put a little of this sauce which I swear I could just eat with a spoon. It's so flippin' delicious. I'm not kidding. And there you have it. A beautifully grilled, whoopsie, London Royal 
with a brown sugar and chipotle marinade slash sauce. I hope that you give this a try and I hope that you love it. I also hope that you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or consider doing so. And also leave me a comment and tell me what you think. If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking the subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the fun that we have here in my kitchen every single day. So again, I hope you try it. I hope you love it. You'll be able to find the recipe over at my website and that's noreenskitchen.com. And until next time, I'll see ya.